Well, we begin with breaking news this morning. The push to find a coronavirus vaccine this morning. Moderna says its vaccine is more than 94% effective. King 5's Amity Idrisi joining us live in Seattle right now where human trials have been taking place since the spring. Amity, huge news. Yeah, this is huge news, Jake. So back on March 16th, here at the Kaiser Permanente uh, Washington uh, Investigational Research Center, they injected the first inve investigational vaccine into a patient. Now here we are in November and we're hearing that they have a vaccine that is 94.5% effective. Let's talk about efficacy for a sec second. 94.5 is very considerably high, especially when you compare it to the flu vaccine, which is about 60 to 40% effective comparably depending on the season. So the pharmaceutical company hopes that this news, this data, will help people feel more comfortable in getting the vaccine. So the Boston-based pharmaceutical company who says there are very few side effects to the vaccine as well. There's pain at the injection site after the second dose. Remember, because there are two doses to this vaccine, there will be headache, possibly fatigue, and muscle pain. Now, according to the company, the vaccine does not contain any part of the actual coronavirus, so you can't get infected by it. They say the vaccine is made of a short segment of messenger RNA, so basically stuff that's made in the laboratory. Moderna worked with the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases, that's Dr. Fauci's institute. They say it should have approximately 20 million doses of the vaccine ready to ship across the United States by the end of the year. Dr. Fauci says he thinks we're finally headed in the right direction. What, what I think is going to happen, Savannah, is it's going to be all hands on deck. Everybody is going to do it correctly. They're not going to cut any corners, but they're going to do it quickly. We project that by the end of December that there will be doses of vaccines available for individuals in the higher risk category. So now how does this compare to the Pfizer vaccine, which was announced last week, that is 90 percent effective? Well, for one, it looks like the Moderna vaccine might be able to be transported and stored a little bit easier because with the Pfizer vaccine, it has to be stored at minus 94 degrees Fahrenheit. With the Moderna vaccine, you could basically store it in your own refrigerator. So that might make moving it around the country a little bit easier. I'll have more on this coming up at the top of the hour. I'm Amity Adrisi, King 5 News. All right, Amity, all good news there. Thank you.